Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 5, Chapter 3, Lesson 12, Interpret the Remainder. Uh, interpreting remainder, guys, means, like here in the first question, they said a state park has 257 evergreens to plant equally in 9 areas. How many evergreens are planted in each area? So they want to plant uh, 257 plants equally in 9 areas. Okay. In interpreting the remainder, the statement of the question is most important. Okay. They want to fix them in 9 areas, okay, but equally. So when they divide 257 with 9, we get remainder 5. Okay. So these are plants and they just need the nine areas. They don't want to increase the areas. So the answer is 28 and the remaining five plants, yeah, they can use it somewhere else or throw them. So we will not add something in the quotient. But here in the next question, if you see, there are 174 guests invited to a dinner. Each table seats eight guests. So how many tables are needed? So when we divide 174 with 8, we get 21 and the remainder is 6. So this 6 is what? The guests, the remaining 6 guests. Okay, so the guests are human, they're important. So we can't tell them to go back. Okay, what we will do, we will arrange another table for them. According to the importance of the questions, guys, we interpret the remainder. So instead of 21 tables, we'll bring 22 tables. Why? for the remaining six guests okay so here it is 21 plus 1 22 okay next example a tent is put up with seven poles how many tents can be put up with 200 poles so 200 divide 7 that is we can put 28 tents and how many poles we have remaining four but we need seven poles to put another tent so we can't put another one okay so these remaining four are useless okay next one here uh, there are 50 students traveling in van on a field trip each van seats eight students how many vans are needed so when you divide 8 50 with 8 we'll get six remainder two okay so for the remaining two students they are humans, important. So you can't tell them to go back. Okay? What you will do, you'll bring another van for them. So instead of six vans, you'll bring seven vans. So a seven van is needed for the two students left over in the remainder. Okay, here. How many payment of $10 bills would it take Samuel to purchase the scooter shown at night? He want to use the $10 bills. Okay? For the 79. So he have to give eight $10 bills. And the shopkeeper will return him one dollar when you divide 79 with 10 you will get seven remainder nine so the remaining nine dollars he will pay with the last eight dollar and the shopkeeper will return him one dollar so the remainder nine means an eighth payment is necessary okay here uh this is hodges made 144 muffins for a bake sale she puts them into tens of five muffins each. So how many tens of muffins can she make? So she can make when you divide 144 uh, with five, you'll get 28 and the remainder is four. So four muffins still left over. Okay. How many 8 foot sections of fencing are needed for 189 feet of fence? So 189, when you divide it by 8, okay, you will get what? 23, okay, let, let us divide this last one here. 189 and 8 times 2, 16, minus 2, 9, 8 times 3, 24, 5. So the remainder is 5. Guys, for all these questions, you have to write the division here. Okay? 
like this I showed you. Okay. Now, how much uh, area left behind? Five feet still left behind from 189. Five feet still left behind. So if you don't cover like we are doing the fencing, okay, and you leave this small area, so this whole fencing is useless. Anyone can enter from this the area left behind, okay. So for these five feet, the remaining five feet, you will bring another eight foot section, and from that you will use uh, five feet. So instead of 23, because you will bring another section of eight foot fence for the remaining five foot. So instead of 23, you will use 24 sections. Next one. Students on softball team earn 295 from a car wash. How many team banners can they buy if each banner cost $8? So when you divide 295 with 8, you will get 36 and remainder is 7. So the $7 left over, so you can't buy another one because each banner cost $8. So you are $1 short. Okay. Uh, Valeria has 20 stuffed animals. She wants to store them in plastic bags. She estimated she can fit three stuffed animals in each bag. So how many bags will she need? When you divide 20 with 3, okay, you will get 6, remainder 2. So for the remaining two animals, she will bring another bag, so 7 bags. How many 6 ounces cups can be filled with 4 gallons of juice? Hint, 1 gallon is 128 ounces. If 1 gallon is 128 ounces, so 4 gallons means 512 ounces. When you divide 512 with 6, we'll get 85 and the remaining 2 ounces left over. Okay. If the divisor is 30, what is the least number, least three digit dividend that would give a remainder of 8? So when you div your divisor is 30, you divide the least one is 128. What is the next number after 128 with which you will get the re this answer for remainder 8? And the divisor must be 30 guys. Okay? From the question. What is the next number? You can uh, the quotient can be different, but the remainder should be seen, okay? Like this. Let me write the question for you, and you have to answer this question in the comment box. Uh, other than this 128, okay? The dividend must be of three digits. Divisor must be 30, and the remainder must be eight. Quotient can be anything, okay? How can I interpret the remainder? Give two examples of interpreting the remainder in different ways. So the remainder tells me how many are left over. The remainder helps me to divide if I need another partial group or no. Like if I need to add one more, like here we added one back and here we don't add. Okay, so the remainder tells us this thing. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.